The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle. Gear up now for Back Bay Stripe Bass and ask for your free gift with any purchase. Well, the up and down weather marches on. A day or two of warmth followed by a couple of days of cold and wind. And then we look into this weekend ahead. More warmth, but also some rain in our forecast Saturday, Sunday into Monday as well. I'm Jim Hutchinson for the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And uh, despite the obvious and, uh, and, and expected hitches in our weather uh, for this time of year, there also comes a little bit of optimism along the striped bass front, uh, especially when we start from the southern reaches uh, for this week's report down around the Delaware River or the Delaware Bay moving up into the Delaware River. So let's start. By going out to Philadelphia, Brinkman's Bait and Tackle this week brought word of bass to 22 inches at Station Avenue up the Delaware. Also reported one uh, apparently up to 24 pounds that was caught on bloodworm just below the Tacony Bridge. Now, we got further word of that when we checked in over on the coast with Greg at Fisherman's Headquarters. He said Steve Polidoro hit his first quality striper on the Delaware River, wondering if this is the same fish reported from the folks at Brinkman's. Now apparently Steve has been putting a lot of time in on the Delaware with those uh, on the Delaware River with those bloodworms. Now starting down in Salem County, that's always a good place where folks start to uh, really start to target those stripers, that warm water discharge around Salem. Uh, we're hearing some reports on um, some, uh, some smaller fish down around Fortescue. Hopefully we'll continue to get good reports up the Delaware River this season, just as we had last year. Maybe that, uh, that, maybe that uh, shows something really optimistic for May and June down around the, the mouth of Delaware Bay where we could get a chunk bite as those fish uh, start to depart. Uh, Doug Pombo had one on Barnegat Bay earlier this week. We mentioned the warmth. We had a good start to the week. Uh, Doug was blood warming uh, on the Delaware or on the Barnegat Bay. I'm sorry, caught this keeper fish earlier in the week and he let that fish go. Gary Grant also warmed up a bass 29 inches on the Toms River. First keeper fish that we've heard on the Toms River as yet. He weighed that one in over at Murphy's Hookhouse. Now, Grumpy and Seaside said small stripers are also hitting bloods. You know, everybody's talking about the blood worms. Uh, Grumpy said there's some small fish out front at Island Beach uh, that are taking some blood worms. And of course, these baits are proving their worth across the board. For example, they're also good for winter flounder. We're getting some decent reports around Island Heights, near the Maniloking Bridge, the canal, and also up around Shark River as well. Well, down in South Jersey, of course, blood worms have been not just effective for the striped bass up the Mullica River, but also doing quite well with the white perch. David Absekin Bay said white perch action is still very good. Dave Wise hit a mess of perch earlier this week again on blood. So depending on where you are in South Jersey, you may find a couple of uh, straggler stripers in the back. Water temperatures were warm a couple of weeks ago, according to the folks at Fanatics, but I'm sure we're going to start getting those reports up the Great Egg and around the Tuckahoe River as well. The south central portion of the state of New Jersey uh, having some better conditions, but where you get up north and you had more of that snow last week, that snow melt right now is really uh, having an effect on the water temperatures on the Raritan. Uh, we're we're going to need some of that warm and rain this weekend to flush that snow out of there and bring the water temperatures back. I spoke to Phil at the Tackle Box earlier in the week, uh, Monday. He said the Keensburg water temperature was 38 degrees on Monday. Right before the snowstorm, it was 50 degrees. So that's probably led to much of the uh, the tight mouth striped bass bite up there on the Raritan, but we hope that that will turn around. It's also, of course, where you had the snow up north and you didn't have much snow in central Jersey. That's where that Barnegat Bay open water bass bite uh, has been best for some of the guys uh, like Jimmy Bonanno here fishing behind Island Beach State Park. He told me slow, 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 like almost don't even crank the reel on the, the handle on the reel. He was using a mag darter on a very slow retrieve west of Island Beach this past weekend. Now, speaking of Jimmy, you can head out to Harry's Outdoors this weekend, pick Jimmy's brain, find out about where he's fishing and what he's fishing. Uh, Harry's Outdoors in Robbinsville is having their uh, annual spring fishing sale. That kicks off this weekend. It runs from March 23rd through the 31st. Some closeout reel prices at 30% off. Uh, select rods are up to 40% off. Clothing to 25% off. Uh, plus, you can maybe pick up that new accurate Valiant reel 
and get an $80 set of pliers as well. For more information on that, you can turn to page 44 and 45 of the March edition of the Fisherman Magazine. See all the savings you'll find there at Harry's starting this weekend. Now, the April edition goes to print next week here at the Fisherman Magazine, and we will go back to our weekly reports, our weekly editions, uh, all the way through the spring, summer, and fall months. You'll find a full rundown on who's sailing in our April edition next week. There are quite a few boats that are getting ready to get geared up for April 1st. We do have a couple of boats in the Central Jersey area running for Cod, Ling, and Pollock right now, but we will have the full detail uh, on everything in that April edition next week. Right now we have nothing to report on the fluke front except for the fact that Delaware has opted to increase the size of their summer flounder by one inch as of April 1st. The rest of the states are just hanging back. Wait, New Jersey and other states have not yet budged. The latest buzz that I had from DC earlier in the week uh, was telling me that the Commerce Secretary is going to wait until his people are in place. He wants his own staff to make the decision on what to do with summer flounder. That final decision will come down to a couple of people underneath the Commerce Secretary. One is the Undersecretary, which has to be named, and also the NOAA Administrator. So we're still in a holding pattern, folks. But in next week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine, we'll spill out more on where we stand with Fluke. Uh, in the editor's log, we've got Spring Blues, Trophy Striper Hotspots, a full rundown of trout stocking, and more in that April edition. For now, though, I'll leave you to plan for jumping in between the raindrops this week. Take advantage of that warm weather, dust them off, catch them up, and we will see you again next week here at the Fisherman Magazine and thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle. Gear up now for back bay striped bass and ask for your free gift with any purchase.